What's up everybody, Barnaby here at LAF. Welcome to the 12th um, time that I've tried to make this video about the SP630E. This is a badass all-in-one controller. Um, I am going to phase out the other controllers and phase this in. I just got these the other day. I've done a little bit of testing on them. I know enough to get you guys started and that's what I wanna share. Uh, I wanna get you started with this. Um, so this is an all-in-one controller. It's going to do your address chase strips, addressable chase strips. It's going to do your RGB strips. It's going to do your single color 12 volt strips. It's also going to do, uh, RGBW, but I don't have any of those strips. I don't really use them. Um, I'll let you figure that out, but let's get you started. Okay. Let's get the lights on blinky blinky. Cause that what's, that's what you want. And we're gonna start with uh, the chase or d addressable strips. Um, my strips are five volts. If you give these strips 12 volts, if you put 12 volts right there, you're gonna blow this strip. Don't do that. Always, always, always use the five volt step down. Yours may or may not look like this, but what it does have is it does have four wires. It has 12 volts in and it has five volts out. And that five volts out positive and negative need to come to this, the top of the controller. You're going to have positive coming to VCC. You're going to have negative going to ground. All right. You got to do that. That's the first thing from there. You've got your addressable strip, which has three wires. Red is going to be your five volt positive. It's going to go to the VCC pin. Green is going to be your data and data is going to go to the DAT pin and then ground is either going to be a black wire if it came uh, wired from me, or it's going to be a white wire if it came wired from the factory. But either way, it's got three pins, red, green, and ground. All right. So uh, you hook up your red, green, ground, and we got our five volts. So now we can plug this in. Now, when you open up the app, it's going to look a little bit different then uh, what happens here, because I've already done this like 10 times and uh, the app already knows what this controller is and I can't change that. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna download the Banlan X app. You're gonna open up that app. Okay, we're gonna disconnect from the controller. We're... All right, let's, uh, let's get rid of these all. Come on remove all. Okay. So you're going to have a blank screen and what you're going to do is you're going to hit the plus, um, and you're going to add a device. When you add the device, it's going to see it. And the first thing that it's going to do when it connects is it's going to go to this modify light screen. This is where you're going to set it up and tell it what the strip is. If it doesn't, if you have any issues, what you need to do is go to the settings in the upper corner. Okay, modify light type, hit that. Now you can tell it what it is. We're not doing WW, so that's a circle X. We're not doing CW, so that's a circle X. We're doing RGB, and within the RGB, we're gonna do the IC, the integrated circuit type of uh, RGB. That's gonna be for our chase addressable. So we're gonna hit IC, and then we're gonna hit OK. And from there, it's gonna take us to uh, the, this screen. It's going, it'll do this all automatically. But what it's asking is, what color is that? It's green. You tell it green, okay. And then it's gonna tell it, uh, ask it again, what color is this? It's red, tell it okay. All right, now our strip is calibrated. Um, we're good to go, have fun, play around, see what you can do. You can do solid colors, right? You can go to dynamic and you can do all the different chasing patterns, yoink, yoink. Uh, you can go to music mode and you can choose one of the many different uh, sound activated. See, it's going to the sound of my voice. Uh, or, this is so badass, you can go to DIY. You can set up your own stuff. I'm not going to get into this, but you can. You can play around. You can set up different colors, different patterns, different modes. And I believe you can take this back to music mode. Um, this is just a startup video. I've got you started up. You have light. You figure out the rest. Maybe I'll do another video later, but uh, there you go. You are started. So, Chase, done, out of the way. Let's talk about RGB. 
So RGB is just gonna be your four wire um, RGB, no chasing, no patterns, um, color change. Your black wire is going to go to positive, VCC positive, and then your, these are, so yeah, your black wire is gonna go to VCC, R is gonna go to, uh, red's gonna go to R, green is gonna go to G, and blue is gonna go to B. Um, and then you got 12 volts in, super simple. Okay, we're gonna hook this up. And it's the same deal. Uh, we're going to um, come to our main screen. We're gonna add a device. Okay, seize it. Now you can add multiple of these controllers. You can do all kinds of cool stuff, create zones. Um, and it's going to go, it's gonna default. When you do this, it's gonna default to this screen. All right, and at this screen, we're gonna wanna select the PMW. If it isn't already, you're gonna go to the PMW selection right there in the middle. Okay, and you're gonna hit okay, and it's gonna go to the color choice calibration screen. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we do that. Um, yes, okay, we're gonna change. So it's gonna default here, right? And you're gonna to go to PMW, okay, yes. All right, now it's gonna say, what color is this? It's red, okay. What color is this? It's green, okay. I guess that might be a problem if you're colorblind. Um, I don't know what to do then. Um, okay, there you go, it's working. Um, from here, you can go to your dynamic um, different patterns and blinkies and things like that. You can go to solid, um, select different colors. Come on, there we go. Somehow it works. I don't know what I did. I broke it. Um, what did I do? I broke it. Please, I don't want to make another video reconnecting. There we go. All right, I don't know what I did, um, but it's working. Change the different colors, right? Music mode. It's gonna uh, pulse the lights to the beat of the music. Um, DIY, you can create your own patterns. Super, 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 super cool. All right, you are started with RGB. All right, now this is why I kept having to redo this because um, I had to figure out how to do the single color. Um, but I got it, I figured it out. All right, so this is just a 12 volt strip. Um, it's a single color strip. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna run the ground to the CW pin. Ground to CW. And then your uh, positive is gonna go to VCC. CW and VCC, all right? Same deal, we're gonna add a device. Seize the controller. And we, it's gonna, it's not gonna do this. It's gonna go to modified light type. And what I wanna do is I wanna be uh, circle X on RGB, circle X on uh, WW, and we wanna go to pulse width modulation, PMW on the CW style strip. Okay. Yes. Oh, look at that. We've got light. It's working. All right. From here, you can do all your your single color. Oh God, we can strobe and have a seizure. Um, it's okay, lots of strobes. Um, there's not a lot of things you can do, uh, but you can change all that up. Um, solid, you can change the brightness. Okay, super bright, not very bright. Um, if, if you have one of these, this is a cheap Amazon strip or eBay strip, right? This is like $2 for the whole roll. These things are, ugh, they're not good. They get hot, right? If you're running on a vehicle that's charging at 14.8 volts or higher, you're running on lithium, um, this strip's gonna get super hot. You can fix that by changing the brightness. So just run it. There we go, we're at 50%. It's still pretty bright and uh, my strip's not getting hot. But if I go all the way up to 100, I'm at 14.8 volts right now. 
um, yeah, that strip's getting pretty warm. So you can correct that by finding what brightness gives you enough brightness without getting super, super hot. Kind of a cool feature. Um, music. This is so cool. I've never had a controller that does this. It will flash your 12 volt lights to the beat of the music. That's super cool. All right, guys, you are started on the three types of strips. Have fun.